Hey guys, it's Mad Rabbit. We are back in Medieval Minecraft Creations. And I want to apologize because there wasn't really any episodes up this week except for one earlier in the week, which um, was pretty good. Pretty good build. <clears throat> but um, I had filmed an episode where I built some stuff around this particular place here. And this is going to be like a mage academy, like a. So it's going to be a little different architecture than what we've seen so far in our medieval thing. So it's going to start branching, at least this particular build is going to start branching into sort of like a fantasy look. But um, it's still going to be very, very medieval looking. So it's not going to be too much of a departure from what we've been doing. It's just going to be some different kind of stuff. And in the first build, which I will actually stick some footage at the end of this video of what it, what I, well, what I had and it just it didn't quite work out right as far as how the walls went and I tried to first off I tried to circle this like the way the the, the water was and then I just and that didn't work and then I tried to make like a diagonal wall like and have buildings on on uh on uh, like four buildings on either on the corners here right in the center which is what I'm sort of going to stick with. I'm gonna, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And each, if I decided each one, the buildings have to be built first. The walls are going to prove a problem as far as how we're going to how we're going to measure them out. I, I don't, still don't know whether to do diagonals or try to cir do the circular again. And if so, how how we're going to decorate them? I, I just, it's kind of eluding me right now in my mind, but. Um, that's why I, what I'm going to do is we're going to do four builds around here. One one build that's going to be the wall. Another build that's going to be basically the the mage tower itself on top of this um, island out here. And obviously a lot of interior work and touch up work and stuff. So this is going to be probably several several episodes. And what I'm going to try and do is do one building in each episode so we don't drag this out too many episodes um, and if you and most likely this will put us beyond episode 100 so the server idea is probably gonna end up left in the wait until the patch comes out anyway so I didn't forget about that so I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna start in on this and I will show you the footage okay I was to continue the build um, this first building I'm calling it a reliquary. I don't know what the heck the heck that even means, but that's sort of what I'm building. Sort of a relaxing, beautiful area. More like gardens and whatnot, but um wanted it to be an unusual kind of architecture. So you see here I it it's the design it really isn't very symmetrical. And I know it looks symmetrical, but because of the the way I set it up it just isn't it isn't symmetrical, so it's gonna look a little odd later on but um, I, I, I sort of fixed it I think if I had to re redo all this over again I would have done it um, a little more symmetrical than I than it turned out to be but um, yeah so I guess um, I tried to implement a lot of uh, plants and stuff into this I'm still gonna go back probably and do a few more touch-up things at the end of this project as you see here, you, it's just it's mainly just um, like almost like a, a small little pavilion place. Um, mainly, its purpose is sort of to serve as a bridgeway over into the tower that's going to be in the center. But I may do something similar with each building. I may have a walkway going over for all of them, or maybe some of them. Um, I think one of the ones on the opposite side of that the larger hill, I might not be able to do that. But um, we'll see. I don't know yet. So yeah, it's a, a doing a little speed build here again. I think it's a little better just doing it that way. Otherwise, it'd be 50 episodes just to do just this one this one building, or to have to cut it down to, to practically nothing anyway. So in the interest of time, that's sort of why I do this now. Um, implementing some glass in the design too. Still debating whether I might change my texture pack glass design which I'm pretty sure I'm going to at some point um, using the blocks here but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably make them 
uh, a little more detailed. It's a little boring right now. Sometimes you don't really even see that they're they're on a building or something. So I might make like you know a little um, little smaller window partitions within it or something, kind of like a cross sign or something. So we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm that's not set in stone yet. I'm gonna do that soon. I still got a lot of work to do, obviously, on the texture pack. Um, so if you remember those episodes where I was talking about the texture pack, yeah, still still ongoing, pretty much with that. Um, so this basically becomes a tower, and it's a little unusual because it doesn't quite look like it would really support it. But I think some of the architecture in this is going to be like kind of like beyond belief architecture. You know, I know it's a little different a departure from uh, what we've been doing, but um, it, I think it's going to come out okay. Now the other buildings will be a little less weird because um, at least I'm probably going to do one that's like sort of like this classrooms. Another one maybe it's going to be specifically the library. Another one that's probably going to be maybe like specifically for, for portals or and the alchemy lab maybe or and enchanting maybe all that sort of like a lab building or I guess I don't know what you would call it something like that and, and I have to consolidate some of the things so the buildings are actually going to be bigger than this but this thing is just sort of more decorative this this structure that we're doing right now so when we get done to done with this project I'll, I'll do a slower tour through everything rather than I'll sped up but uh, right now just for the building of it, we'll do, we'll do a little speed tour of. We'll just it's all sped up, so you know. Um, and I actually do build the bridge here, going over. And I know it doesn't quite when you're when it's done, it won't quite look like it's very able to support its own weight. But you got to remember, it will be connected to a tower over there, and um, we'll have some support. I don't. I don't necessarily plan on having um, any special like pillars in the water or anything like that. So I think we're just going to leave it as is. So you'll see here. I do do. I do try and make a bigger support. I may actually make that bigger if it still looks kind of thin and weak or something. But um, decorating it with the the stairs. So you see there. It's sort of got some support. And then I put that. And I might. Might make the bottom look a little thicker too by um, putting some blocks underneath it, so maybe it'll look like it's not so thin. Because if it's too thin looking, it that also throws it off when you got little in the way of supports like that. So I tried trying to implement some some different types of blocks and in, into the design of this I'm using some white and white and black blocks, um, mainly the obsidian and the white block I made up. You may have seen in my cathedral build. I really haven't used it much other than that. Uh, a lot of just decorative things here and there, as you see. And I just wanted to have some sort of an unusual architecture on the top part, kind of like a weird, weird spiral. Some tendrils coming out of it. So you will see it's going to come out actually pretty good. At night it's difficult to see, but during the day it's not too bad. Again, implementing some uh, just to try and make it look like it's all connected. I, I put these, you know, the slabs in between these things, and then just having just one didn't quite make it look right, so I kept going with it. So I keep going up these tendrils. I had them like kind of lean back inwards again. Yeah, and it. It, I sort of had them all meet up in the middle, and it came out pretty good. But there's more to it, so I'll, let it, I'll just let that go. So we go up, and it sort of meets, and... I, again, this is where we run into the problem, because we don't have the things done out evenly. I mean, it's done even, rather than an odd number on, on, on the sides. That's sort of where it ends up messing things up sometimes, so... I think, again, if I had redone this, I probably would have do it, you know, done it more like that. With an odd, an odd, um, odd number, so we're gonna have a spire in the middle, and I'm using um, the portals as decor decoration elements. 
Now this is probably not something people normally do, but you'll see here I'll put it on the side of the building too. And it actually works pretty good on the sides of the buildings and stuff. I, I It didn't quite work because it had an obsidian background on that one because of that side. So you have to actually to wreck that. So for some reason didn't like, like it being up against obsidian. And basically just did that all the way around. I had that one in the middle there and it looks pretty good. Just gives it a mystical feel to it. So I kind of wish they had more kind of, you know, mystical looking sparkly effects sort of things on some other items so I could put them in here. But this is just, you know, again, it was just a garden. It wasn't supposed to be anything too special. I didn't want to go too crazy with the, the the vines. I just put a few in there. And this is an ill-conceived idea. <laughs> and I knew it was going to give me problems. But they started making all that. The hedgerow went on fire. As you'll see in a little bit. I thought, well, maybe I'll just push it back one more. And I replaced them all. And then I did the other side in uh, water. But eventually, it still lit up the stuff on fire again. So I can't... <laughs> you just couldn't implement that in near hedges and, and wood and all that. So it didn't work out. So eventually, here you'll see as we go back to... Uh, you'll see me go back to the water design. I will probably implement some things like this somewhere in this in these buildings. Um, maybe I'll come back to this one and maybe some of the landscaping around it. Okay, so here's actually a nice panoramic view when it's pretty much done. I slowed down the video just so you see it from afar. I do notice a mistake in here in a minute and I'll have to go in and fix the stairs because there's no stair actually going up to those ladders which you'll see. I just quickly throw in something. I may do a little work on that in the future. But, uh, yeah, that's the spiral staircase inside. That's it, basically, folks. So I will show you now the footage from the episode that I was going to upload yesterday, where it didn't quite work out, where the walls were diagonal. And this was the building I was making, and it just did not work out for me. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't like it, and, um, it, the buildings weren't going to, weren't going to measure correctly, so I just gave up the idea, I deleted that episode, I actually rendered the whole thing, shot the footage, did the voiceovers for it, then I got to thinking about it, and I go, I was going to salvage this episode and go back in and maybe rework some stuff, but it just wasn't going to happen, you know, so, that one, I just ditched it, and that's it, folks, I will catch you next time, it will be the next part of this build. And I have a setting off. Adios.